Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Now listen, our next guests are the very definitions of mm -hmm. hashtag black girl magic. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Inspired by a simple no from her dad and with the help of her mother, this young boss with a capital B turned her kitchen table hobby into a million dollar brand. Oh, that's in just... Target and Whole Foods. Yes, yes, that's just music to my ears. Please welcome teenage beauty maven, Z Zandra, and also her mother, Momager, Tamara, how are you all? Hello, We're good. how Great. are you? Doing good, Happy doing very here. good, doing very good. <laughs> so it's it's very interesting that you started this with just your father saying like, no, you're not getting any more lip gloss, I'm tired of buying it, and so that's that. But then you went to your mom and you guys created a million dollar business. How did that happen? It's definitely crazy now that we're saying it now and saying it out loud and living it. Mm -hmm. um, but it really was just my passion, my love for lip gloss and um, going to her, it was like my dad would say no, and I'm just like, what do you mean? You're not gonna get, get me any more lip balm? And that kind of inspired me to think like, where does the balm come from? How does it appear in stores? So I would watch like YouTube videos and my mom would wonder what I was doing on the tablet and or whatever I was working on, on the computer, and then she would come in and be like, oh, and then it would kind of became like a, a mother-daughter project. Right, we, we we talked during the break, and you said you were nine years old when this happened? Yes. And how old are you now? I'm 18. <clears throat> So from nine to 18, you turned a hobby and just a fad, because my daughter, seven, is into lip gloss mm -hmm. like crazy. I mean, she's got 20 of them on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> but you turned this into a multi-million dollar business. I gotta look at mom for this then. You are a licensed mortuary scientist, yes? Wow. Yeah. So is yes. that how you knew, okay, my daughter has a dream, I think I know how to help her turn this into a business and I know how to make this work. Is that is that what helped you down you that would road? think, but not really. I really went more towards business science mm. was a big part of it because she's a form she ended up be becoming a formulator um, but it was really a about the entrepreneurial spirit and just a a understanding business mm -hmm. and a lot I didn't know in the beginning oh wow which is why it mm. it's been nine long years yeah. and we we did a lot together to learn as we went along and so, dad so. he's not saying no anymore is he oh no yes, baby, oh, what no. Are you gonna do? yes. Oh, yes. yes. Exactly. anything she wants yes yes <laughs> so turn it into a business <laughs> yes and actually a family business <laughs> Egypt. so yes. I understand that grandmother is in the business, mm -hmm. mom is in the business, and dad, dad even helps too? Yep, he's, yep, he's employed. Wow, so how does that make <laughs> you feel that you as a nine-year-old girl, now mm. 18, you're able to employ your family? Mm. I think it's a really powerful because you kind of hear the message that you can't mix business with family or business with like your personal life and stuff, and I think we've showed um, that it's definitely possible. Um, our communication is strong, our bond is strong. Um, yeah, so family run business. I mean, because my company, it, it affected everybody else around me. So, of course. Um, so they were so on board. So you, you said, no, you guys are not going to work for anyone else. You're going to work for me. Mm. Uh, you know, I this reminds me of Tyler Perry's speech uh, on the BET Awards. Uh -huh. Basically, he said, don't wait for someone else to give you an opportunity. Don't wait for someone else to give you a seat at the table. Create mm -hmm. your own. And we're exactly. seeing a generation now That's exactly what of happened. people creating their own opportunities. Mm -hmm. I, my, my daughter told me she wanted to be, this is my eldest, she's 17, just graduated uh, from high school, said she wanted to be insta-famous a couple uh -huh. years ago. Okay. We shut it down. You know, we're like, insta-famous, no, you're going to go get a degree in. But then we're seeing millionaires who haven't no. even gone to college yet. You're getting ready for college, is that right? Yep, so I just finished off my first year. And what are you majoring in? Business. Of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> what made you decide to continue your education considering you're already where people many are people striving? I know. A lot of people used to ask me all the time, like, what's your plan for? Are you going to go to school? Like, you don't really need to go to school because you're already running your company. Um, but I always felt like education is really important and mm -hmm. there's never a cap on when you, you when you've, um, learned, when you have a lot of knowledge or anything, you, you learn th new things every day. And I feel like colleges, uh, college, I wanted that experience. And I also, um, there's always something more that you can learn. So I wanted to be able to, ex be able to experience that. And mom's over here gleaming. Mm -hmm. You're proud. Yeah, I know yeah, you yeah, are. That's my boss. Yeah. That's my I, boss. And you I know what? I was thinking of that. I was like, what does it feel like for you tomorrow as the mother to now have your daughter be your boss? It's interesting. I officially retired from my corporate sponsor mm -hmm. in um, 2016 so I can work for my 16-year-old daughter. Right. And it's, it's, it's been a journey. You've also created a summit called Raising a Mogul. Tell us a little bit about that. You're kicking it off today. Yes. We're Let's kicking off the it. Raising a Mogul Family Business Summit. It is the first of its kind ever. We're bringing together parent managers mm -hmm. and all their young moguls. Um, 
um, and for a whole weekend of real business experience, training and networking. Amazing. It's never been done before. It's amazing. So I'm working with parents every day, giving them the confidence and knowledge and the tools that they need so they can raise their own young mogul. Well, we wow. have you here in the flesh. For those who are watching, give some advice, please. They have mm -hmm. a kid who wants to start a business. What should they do? Listen have a conversation, like what you said with your daughter, don't say no right away, explore all options, consider every opportunity, dig deep, look all around you, everywhere you go, connect with an amazing community like Raising a Mogul, and also just create the opportunity so that when your children get to college, mm -hmm. it's not the first time they're experiencing all these things they say they wanna do. Mm -hmm. Mentorship is important and just making sure you're listening and you're doing everything to push them in the direction of their dreams. Wow, so what's next for you, Zandra? Um, so- We know we got, you gotta finish college, we know that. Yes, finishing <laughs> college. Um, I'm working on a couple new things launching. We're gonna get into hair care um, mm -hmm. and continue to expand the product line. I'll get into more stores. We have some big things coming up um, in, the, in the next couple months with the business that we're not ready to announce yet, but okay. it's on the way. <laughs> um, and I'm a new clothing company and I'm starting with my sister. Well, a oh, new wow. So a second business. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm inspired. She's I, this is, mm -hmm. this, I, I'm so inspired by this yeah, generation. Yeah, I'm telling you, thank you guys for coming. Thank, thank you yeah. so really. much for having us. Okay, and to find out more information on the summit, I want you right now to go to www.raisingamogulsummit.com and we'll be right back. All right.